the proper side is side down against the back of your hand. Wrap two times around your wrist. Make it snug but not tight. And across the back of your hand. Cover the knuckles. And make sure you got all the knuckles covered. Okay, and it's not too high up on the hand. Two times around your knuckles. Then you go over the back of your hand behind and around your thumb completely around the thumb across the back of your hand and over your knuckles one more time so you got a good foundation of coverage over your knuckles and your wrist and your thumb as you can see then you go across the back of your hand again behind your thumb and this time we are going to weave between your fingers and we weave between the little fingers first as you can see make sure that it feels good between your fingers and then you weave between your middle fingers like so anchor it also always behind the thumb as you can see and then the last two fingers you're going to weave between the index finger and the middle finger okay and remember the first three times we anchored it behind your thumb the last time you're going to wrap it under by your little finger side and wrap it behind your hand back of your hand around the wrist without twisting the wrap nice and flat this time we're going to cover the knuckles over the face of the hand and knuckle make sure you got it covered securely And as you can see, it's snug and not too tight to cut off the circulation. Now the rest of the wrap, you can use to wrap around your wrist or your thumb or your knuckles if you have enough left over. Make sure that the Velcro side is up so that it can be secured correctly on the back of your hand. Okay. Now this is a proper way, a perfect way to wrap your hands.